Hey everyone, it's G here with Golden Thread Tarot. How are you lovelies doing? And I'm here to bring you another channel message today. Now, when I was meditating first, before I started pulling these cards, I was asking Spirit, okay, what situation do you want to talk about here today? And Spirit said that they wanted to talk about a karmic energy that is lying to a divine masculine energy out there about a baby, okay? And that's all that Spirit said so far. Um... Okay, I'm hearing the name Erica. I'm also hearing the name John. Okay, so I guess we're going to call this karmic Erica and we're going to call this divine masculine John. Spirit really likes to have John be the, the name of the divine masculine. Okay, so definitely Ace of Pentacles. Um, somebody here wants a new beginning, but somebody is denying it. Um, also, somebody here is really money hungry. Like somebody is really concentrating on the money of this, um, this karmic energy. So Erica could have gotten pregnant by John for the money, for his money. Um um, the feminine energy here it could be an air sign, so a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or this could just be an energy that you really need to like put boundaries up in between, or this person. Yeah. I just heard holier than thou. So this karmic energy could be a, a very karmic energy that like pretends on the surface, like, you know, oh, I get up, I go to church, I pray, I read the Bible, I do this, but underneath and behind the scenes, this person is getting pregnant by people to take money from them. Wow. Yeah, exactly. King of Pentacles in reverse. So they're definitely trying to focus on the material or focus on the way things look. And I really feel like they're trying to take money away. This definitely could be some kind of pregnancy trap sort of type situation here. So let's get more into it. Yeah, this person, ten of, 10 of Cups in reverse, this person was not interested. This Erica, Erica was not interested in becoming family with John. Erica was not interested. There was no emotional tie here. There was no, I love you. There was no, I want to build a family together, right? Because the, 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 Ten of Cups is like, right, the mother, the father, the children, like, no. Um, that was not what was on Erica's mind. All right, so what do you want to tell us about this situation, Spirit? What do you want to tell us about the situation? Excuse me. Okay, yep, yeah, over and over again, there is no, there is no love involved in this situation here, okay? Absolutely no love, okay? So I think that this DM, this divine masculine, John could really think that there is, um, that there, yeah. With, with a king, with a queen of pinnacles in reverse there. Hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of sneaky action happening here with the seven of swords, with a 10 of pentacles, with a two of pentacles and a magician card. Um, and when I held up the magician card, I heard magic. So this person could have been trying to juggle something, trying to juggle two different things. I'm hearing Erica. So I'm hearing that this that this Erica, this karmic situation here, um, was trying to juggle between two different men is what I'm hearing. Trying to sneak, trying to be really sneaky and trying to create some kind of long-term foundation. Ten of Pentacles, but it was mostly about the money. There was no emotional tie there, right? Remember, the Ten of Cups came up in reverse. So it's about getting a family legacy, about taking money from somebody. Yeah. There's a Queen of Wands involved here, so there could be an air sign, or not air sign, but a fire sign, female involved in this too. So um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius could be involved in this situation, or there is, the Queen of Wands can also be like a mystical, a teacher, like a, well, I just heard psychic, a psychic. So Erica went and saw a psychic and found out something. What is it that she found out? The world. A new cycle. A baby. Right? That could also be a baby. That she was going to get pregnant. Hmm. The hermit card in reverse and the king of swords in reverse. Hmm. 
I'm hearing that that somebody went and saw a psychic and found out that there was going to be a pregnancy. And that a masculine energy here was going to get drugged down into something to feel isolated, lonely, and depressed. Something that she was going to have, that somebody was going to have to lie about and trying to hide and make sure that it didn't come to light. There was definitely a pregnancy here. Um, this karmic energy could have gotten pregnant by somebody else that she wasn't in a relationship with. And she found out that she was going to have to hide about it. Or she found out that, um, that the man she was pregnant by was going to leave her. And leave her by herself. So she's like, shit, I got to find somebody to help me take care of this kid. So she decided to lie. And tell somebody that they're... That, that, the baby they were pregnant with, instead of it being this other person, this king of swords and reverse person, that it was some that it was their baby. Star card in reverse and the judgment card in the upright. They didn't want it to come to light. Oh, but I'm hearing now it is. Because look, look how it's like, right? Like this person is getting like, and, it's, and they've got like the medical symbol here, like the healing symbol, right? So it's like they got some kind of call um, about some, from somebody in the medical field. They could have gone and gotten some kind of fraternity test or something. And then look, this woman here is like, there's like a kid right in between a woman and a man. And this man is like praying like, oh my God, thank you. And this woman is like, but no, it's his. It's this person's baby. I promise. But here on the back. With this page of swords in reverse. Somebody's hiding the information. Somebody's hiding information and watching. They're either watching to try to make sure somebody doesn't find this out. Exactly, yeah. They don't want there to be information. They don't want there to be communication. That I feel like this person, like this man, is like praying, please God, don't let it be my, my kid. And this, you know, is... And this person, whether or not it is like an angel or spirit or something, is telling it that, you know, this person is finding out, right? And it could be here, right, where I said, right, where they went to a magician, to a queen of wands, to a psychic. And the psychic, with their, with being in touch with the spirit realm, got the information that this baby wasn't this man's. And they're trying to hide that information. They're trying to keep it from coming to light. They're trying to be sneaky, right? They're trying to be sneaky and keep that information from coming to light. Yeah. Um, six of cups in the upright and then the sun... And the reverse fell out as well as the two of cups in reverse fell out. So I feel like although she tried to be sneaky and hide, John found out or this person found out about this baby situation. Yeah. Oof. With the eight of cups in the upright, the temperance card... And then the justice card in reverse.
Because the person on the side here, okay, I'm trying to organize this. The person on the side here that's the actual father of the child is gone. They're out of the situation, but they're the father of the child. But they left with the world card. They kicked it and they booked out of here. So that person is gone. So now this Queen of Wands, Erica, or no, not the Queen of Wands, but Erica, the karmic situation here. Okay, so in some situations, it was Erica that went to the psychic. I heard lump sum. So, so this, so Erica is pregnant. She's going to be a single mom. She goes to a psychic to find out what's going to happen, and the psychic tells her that John is going to come into a lump, a lump sum of money. Is going to become rich or, or something. They're going to have some kind of glow up where they, where they, you know, they make it big. They could just tell her, oh, you're going to come into contact with, you know, with this really rich man, with the king of pinnacles. Blah, blah, blah. And so she's thinking in her mind, oh, yeah, I got to meet this guy. I got to find him. I got to convince him to have sex with me quick enough to where I could say that this baby that I'm already pregnant with is his. Maybe she's messing around with John and this other guy at the same time, but she knows that this other man is the baby and that it isn't John's baby. Maybe John tries to break up with her, right? And she's like, you can't break up with me. I'm pregnant. So that reconciliation brings John back. So her and John are together. She's trying to hold out, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that spirit is trying to bring some kind of justice into this situation. Because this isn't right. It's not. It's not right. And the justice would be for John to walk off and leave this situation. And they're trying to come in and tell John the truth. But Erica is trying to block John from finding that out. Mm-hmm. Embrace in reverse. She's trying to convince John that she's this Empress person, right? The mother of their kid. You should stay with me. I have I'm you know, I'm carrying your child, I'm carrying your baby, you should stay with me. We should be together. You should get married to me, right? But John really doesn't want this. He doesn't want to be here with this person. He never even wanted to really be in a serious relationship with this person. He just thought, oh, I got this person pregnant, so I guess I should go back and be with them. Exactly. They might have even married this person with this four of wands. Knight of Swords in the upright, Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Swords in reverse. So, for some reason, for this Five of Swords, I'm hearing the I'm hearing results, getting results. Somebody's gonna come in really quickly with some kind of information that's gonna let John know that this baby is not his because it's not right, it's not justice. They're trying to bring 
to bring justice to the situation because John's not supposed to be with this person. This is not his empress. This is not who he's supposed to be with. He's a divine masculine. He's supposed to be elsewhere. He's not supposed to be here in this situation. Trapped in a marriage. Exactly. Exactly. Tower card. Death card. This is the end of this cycle. This is the end of this situation. A tower card is coming in here. It's going to cause John to walk away and say, oh, I'm not emotionally invested in this anymore, right? I'm walking away. Despite all the emotional investment that I've put into this, I'm walking away because there were secrets, right? How is John going to find this out, spirit? Yeah, okay, yeah, Ace of Swords. He's going to discover the truth because it's the truth. Yeah, but how is he going to find it out? King of Wands. He's going to find it out for himself. The King of Wands is, is, is the king that gets up and goes and find, you know, how, and go, gets up. He's right. He's the one leaning off of his throne. So he gets up and, and, and goes and search for the truth because he just has like this intuitive feeling, I feel like. Right? John's been praying about it. Spirit, there's just something here that just doesn't sit right with me. It just doesn't feel right. It's just something here is just not adding up. I just don't I just don't feel like I'm supposed to be with this person. And how do I feel like I'm not supposed to be with this person when they're supposedly pregnant with my child? Here too, like there's something about the strawberries. There's something about the strawberries on this empress has strawberries on her dress. So I don't know if that's going to be some kind of clue for you. If it could be some kind of hint, something like that, some kind of sign. But there's something about strawberries here. Or something about the color red or something. Yeah. So John... Eight of Swords in reverse. It's going to unblindfold themselves, right? Because they're blindfolded. They were trapped. They were blindfolded. They told themselves, you know, no, this person's pregnant with your baby. You have to stay with them. You can't leave them. You can't move on. You have to stay with them, right? But this person, John, is feeling like this cup needs to go to somebody else. Like it's not right for them to be in this situation. Some Somebody is going to come forward and bring some kind of Something forward here that's gonna uh, that's gonna free John's mind. What is it? What is this cup situation here? A five of cups in reverse with a ten of cups in reverse here. They're just so unhappy, and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like they're supposed to be here. Five of cups in reverse can also be an unhappy marriage. And it's very much so like with this five of cups here, there's like, I, I know that I'm not supposed to be this unhappy. I know that I'm not supposed to feel like this, right? The five of cups is like, oh, I'm concentrating on all the spilled milk on all of the, the cups that have dipped over instead of paying attention to the two of cups situation here that's right here behind your back. So because you still have these two cups here, there's something here that, that's been missing, but you're focusing too much on the, I'm trapped here, I'm unhappy, I'm not supposed to be here, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here, but there's something, it's like if you just turned around, you could see it, you could get the information, and it would be right there in your face, and then you would know. Yeah, exactly. With that ace, ace of pentacles, some kind of offer. An offer to a new beginning that's going to put doubt like, that's going to relieve these doubts, relieve these sleepless nights that John is having because he knows this is not right, right? Yeah, look, a cup being presented from the divine right into their face. And again, here they are focused on these three of cups, but there's a cup right here in their face. but they're not learning. Divine is trying to, to show John, but John is choosing to ignore it or John is just not learning from past mistakes with that nine of wands there. They're, they're hurt. I was just about to say, they're, they're hurt. They're hurt. Three of swords. 
I heard somebody said, I don't want to be like my dad. So maybe they felt like their maybe their dad walked out on their mom. Okay. Maybe their dad walked out on their mom and left their mom to be a single mom. And they're like, I don't want to be my dad. I don't want to, I don't want to turn my back on my kids just because this person, you know, I need to step up and take responsibility. I'm not going to be like my dad and run out and run away from my, from my situ, you know, from my situation or my responsibilities just because I didn't want to be with the person that I got pregnant. I need to step up and be a man and take care and take care of this. But some from some kind of past hurt though that they have not healed they don't want to walk away and let go of this situation hold on just one second you guys sorry about that um but with that call coming in somebody could be receiving a call and it was my mom that was calling so somebody could be receiving a call from the mother of their children they could call their mom and be like mom this is happening but i just have this weird feeling i don't know what to do Hierophant. Somebody's gonna get get led here. Somebody's gonna get some kind of download, or they're gonna pray about it, or something like that. And, and God is going to come to somebody and tell them, "This is not right. You shouldn't be in this situation." Yeah, this situation is unbalanced. You need to have the strength. Oh, exactly. You need to have the strength inside of you to let this tower moment happen, to let this end and to turn your back emotionally on this situation because it's not what serves you. You're being tricked. Okay. I'm being called to clarify this Queen of Wands. So what about this psychic, this Queen of Wands situation here? Ooh -wee. The devil in reverse. They lied. This Queen of Wands, this psychic or this mystical person, they lied about something. They held back some kind of piece of information with this eight of wands in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse, the seven of cups in the upright and the five of pentacles. They lied and cast some kind of illusions, kept somebody confused and lost in a fog about something so that it would make things worse. Um, this Erica or this karmic situation here, yeah, might have worked together with the psychic to cast some kind of uh, a confusion or a spell or some kind of confusion illusion over this divine masculine. So they wouldn't be able to put two and two together and think about, oh, well, um, the baby is due here, here, but me and so-and-so, you know, I would, but that means that their, that their conceived date had to have been, you know, this weekend or this time frame, and me and them hadn't even had sex yet or me, or I was out of town during that week. And there's no way that I could be the father of the child. There's information here that is being hidden from this divine masculine. And I really feel like it's the divine or sorry, not the divine causing yeah actually causing heartbreak to this psychic or mystic person whoever that got involved in this they're causing some kind of heartbreak in their life and they're letting them know that it was a mistake for them to work with this karmic energy to trap this divine masculine energy and i really feel like it's going to be this psychic person that comes forward because they're not going to keep taking karma for, for this karmic energy. If they can consult with their ancestors or consult with God and God tells them, I'm punishing you or you're going through all this karma because of what you did and it's holding back this divine masculine from filling their divine, you know, I have a divine purpose with this divine masculine and you are standing in the way of that by, it, by casting these confusion spells, by keeping this person hidden. 
because there's no telling what the karmic Erica told this, you know, told this, this magician, because the magician didn't come up in reverse, right? So there's no telling what lie they went and told them, right? They could have made a completely different lie, right? They could have come to this and been like, I'm trying to hide from my abusive boyfriend or something like that. Can you cast a confusion spell on them so they won't know what's happening and I can get away from them or something like that? I don't feel like this person exactly knew, right? But they're dealing with karma because of it. And they're finding out that they, it's because of this that they did. And I really feel like they're going to find some kind of way to reach out to this divine masculine and let this divine masculine know, hey, uh, nah, this ain't it. Hey, uh, your girl's lying to you. Hey, you know, I've been catching all kind of crazy karma. All kind of stuff's been backfiring. I'm I'm receiving all kind of crazy karma for being involved in this situation. And it, it wasn't even my mess to get involved in. I wasn't even trying to get involved in this. She lied to me. I didn't even know that that's exactly what the situation was. Or even if they did know, right? Even if they did know, they don't want to take the karma for it. Exactly. And they're like, hey, you need to walk away from this situation yeah, you need to walk away from this injustice that's being done to you. You need to walk away, find balance, and go towards your actual four of four of wands situation. You have a, a divine mate out there. Or maybe even this divine both the divine masculine and the karmic both go to this same psychic. They could go to the same psychic. They could get tarot readings done from the same from the same mystic person. And on the other side of it. Exactly. John goes to see the same psychic and, is, and tells the situation and the psychic is like, yo, like your girl's misleading you. That's not really your baby. Exactly. You've done married somebody and it, and it's just about the money for them. And they've received some kind of enlightenment. Right. They've been pushed to the edge and they've received some kind of enlightenment about this. And so now. Ace of Cups, they've lost interest. They're they're walking away from this to start a new cycle. Wow. Okay, Spirit saying there's something else. What else do you want to talk about this? A Queen of Pentacles. There's a Queen of Pentacles involved here. I'm being really drawn to like the um, the rabbit here and the queen of pentacles down here. A fertility spell. Maybe maybe this uh, psychic or this um, mystic person, maybe they did some kind of fertility spell on, on this queen of pentacles. To get them pregnant. That world card there. I'm, he I'm literally hearing somebody say. I have to get pregnant right now. I have to get pregnant right now. Right now. So it's like this karmic was like. But my you know. I have to get pregnant right now. If I'm going to get in. On whatever it is that's coming for John or whatever it is that's coming for this divine masculine. This, it's like this karmic energy knew that this divine masculine was about to walk away from them and go towards their actual empress or go towards their success. And they were like, I have to get pregnant right now. If I don't get pregnant right now and trap this person right now and get them to marry me and be with me, this won't work. So they went and got a fertility spell or something done on themselves. Then they just went out and got pregnant by some random. They picked somebody that kind of looked like John. Maybe they had similar facial features. Maybe they had, you know, similar hair, eye color. They were the same race. And they thought it'll be good enough. It'll be close enough. You know, John will never think anything otherwise. And so they just went out and got pregnant by some somebody.
Oh my god. Or they could have gotten pregnant by somebody in John's family. Somebody else in John's family or one of John's friends. And the magician card came out again. Look. When the magician card came out again, look, the empress is still back here in reverse. To hide the fact. They're a queen of pentacles, not an empress. But they were hiding that, look. From who? An emperor. Look at that. It's the emperor card. Because they knew this person was an emperor. They knew this person had an empress. And they were like, might as well be me. With the judgment card and the hermit card in reverse. Both came out too. This person used some kind of magic. To blind John. And to isolate him away from the truth, from finding the truth, right? The hermit card is about going inside, looking inside, being able to self-reflect and find the truth within inside of yourself, right? The judgment card is about hearing the call. Well, one of the ways that you can interpret it, that, that I interpret the judgment card, right? Is about hearing this call from spirit to rise out of your grave, to rise out of your lower vibrational self or your ego self and rise to what spirit says your purpose is here on this earth, right? And this person wanted to keep them from doing that or wanted to keep or wanted... It, either way, they used some kind of magic to throw them off, to keep them from being able to discover the truth and find out what their true purpose was. And they did that by tying them in. And so they not only... They're trying to trap them with some kind of baby to get them to come back to them, Right? For some of y'all, there might not even be a baby, right? Oh, oh my God. For some of them, the karma of doing this could have been losing their baby. Oh no. But I don't think they've told John that. I don't think I don't think John knows that they're that, they're, that this person is not is not pregnant, either not pregnant or the baby is not theirs. Right? With the sun card here in reverse, right? Yeah, they wanted to keep them trapped, to keep them emotionally trapped. Maybe they knew, right? Remember where John was like, I don't want to be like my father and walk away. So they knew. They knew right where to hit John, right? Maybe they, they weren't even pregnant, but they went to, to John and they told him that they were pregnant to get him back in. So then they were like, shit, now I have to actually get pregnant. And I have to get pregnant right now. So they did some kind of fertility spell to try to get themselves pregnant. And look, and as soon as I start mentioning that, out pops that king of swords in reverse. They went out and got somebody drunk, some kind of air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male, lied to them or something. They got somebody drunk or used some kind of love potion or something against them to trap them, to try to get them pregnant. But for some reason, I feel like whoever this person is, whoever this, whoever this other person was that actually got them pregnant is not a very good person. And I don't think they knew that. Right? It was just some random. They just went out to some bar or something like that and got pregnant by somebody. But whoever this man is, is not a good person. They're dark. And they're really dangerous. They're a dark person. Ugh. Whoever the, whoever that person is, it gives me the heebie fucking jeebies, bro. can't just go out and get pregnant by some random and then create some kind of random karmic child. You have no idea who that person is. You have no idea if they have mental disorders, if they have issues. And God forbid that that person finds out that you got pregnant with their baby. Like, who knows what they would do, bro? You can't do shit like that.
But if this person is pregnant with this with this baby for real, and they actually didn't lose the baby or anything like that, this baby is going to be dark. And I hate to say that about a child. I really do. But there's some, there's some kind of something here. It, it, it's not good. It's not right. You do shit like that and you create karmic children. But when you do shit like that, you... You can allow like entity attachments and stuff to attach to you or to attach to your baby. Because you're doing it with dark magic, trying to trick people. Temperance. God, this is making me, like, this is giving me like the sick, cold feeling in my, in my guts. Um, temperance, temperance energy here. Somebody There's angelic forces here. The spirit world is trying to come bring balance to the situation and cleanse the situation, but just, yeah, they're trying to balance this out, but some, there's something really unbalanced going on here, really unbalanced energy. That's not allowing this to like level itself out. It's not allowing karma to work its way out here. Chariot card. Yeah, exactly. The justice in reverse. There's too much karma here. Guys, there's something dark about this baby. I hate to even say that, but literally even, I just, every single time I look at this sun card and I look at this baby on the sun card, I get this sick, twisted feeling in my guts. It almost makes me nauseous. It's given me the chills. Like, look, do you guys see that? Can you see it? It's giving me the chills thinking about this child. This karmic has no idea what they've done. They've, they've trapped. They've trapped. They've trapped themselves into some kind of situation with a child that, that is going to bring nothing but destruction to their life. Oh, you guys, I'm about to have to get out of this energy. Like, I'm about, yeah. Yeah. Queen of Cups. This karmic has no idea what they've done. I don't think they cared. But they did this with darkness, with a dark intent. And when you get pregnant... With a dark intent to trap somebody, you allow darkness to come in. Um, what about the masculine? What about the, the divine masculine in this situation, spirit? What about him? What about it? King of Pentacles. Yeah, they did it for their money. King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. 
they've, I think they married this person. And I think they've tied themselves to this karmic energy, at least in the material world. Yeah, equal. Yeah, they're stuck. With the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of the Six of Swords in reverse, they're stuck here with this energy. Why, Spirit? Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands, yeah, Five of Wands, Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles. They're trapping themselves here. They're not learning their lesson. Spirit tried to tell them to walk away from this karmic, to walk away from this situation, to unbind themselves from this situation. But this karmic used too much emotional manipulation and she trapped, she trapped this divine masculine. For some of y'all, this baby could be the divine masculines. But they've, instead of choosing to walk away from this karmic situation and unbind themselves from the situation. They stayed long enough for this karmic to keep them trapped with some kind of baby. And because of that, now both this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Pentacles, both, both these people are like tied in together with this darkness, with this, with this, they, they brought something dark into the world, something dark and sneaky. Okay. Um, y'all. I'm going to give you a piece of a little piece of of advice. If you are the divine feminine waiting for this divine masculine and you know that your divine masculine has gotten somebody pregnant and they've gotten married to them, and if you, even if you were trying to tell them, don't, she's a karmic, um, she's trapping you with some kind of dark magic, she's trying to trap you, leave your karmic, this divine masculine has set themselves up for a very dark karmic cycle that they are tied in to this karmic with. And either they have somebody else's baby, And they're claiming it as their own. They've just, they're, they're too lost in the sauce. They're like, I refuse to leave this situation. Or whether or not they got called in with some kind of magic and got tied in. But this karmic has tied them in with some kind of child. And... It's allowed some kind of dark entity attachment to attach itself to all of them, to all of them. Everybody in that situation has got some kind of dark entity attached to it. Um, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. That gives me the creeps, 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 real sick, twisted feeling in my guts. Um, like I said, it could be that, that, um, that night, that night, <laughs> that king of pentacles in reverse, um, I don't know if it was, like I said, if that king of pinnacles, that, that king, I can barely even talk about this situation anymore. I have to wrap this up. Um, whatever it is, um, if you're the divine feminine and you know this is the situation, you need to walk away. Look at me right now. You need to walk away. Do not get yourself involved with this divine masculine do not because whatever it is it's dark it's very very it makes me sick to my stomach i have never in my life looked at the sun card and felt the feelings that i felt from that child on that sun card i have to cleanse myself in my cards in my house right now as soon as i stop this video um, I am detaching myself as we speak from this energy. I cannot stress to you enough. Walk the fuck away. Do you hear me? 444, 4444. These are your angels speaking to you 
through me. Walk the fuck away from this divine masculine, okay? Because they are not a divine masculine anymore. They have allowed themselves, and I do not care how many times you try to say, well, it's the karmic's fault. They got them trapped. They use magic. None of that shit matters anymore. The only thing that fucking matters is that they have allowed something to attach themselves to them because they refused to leave that karmic. They were told over and over and over again to leave that karmic, that something dark was going to happen to them if they did not. And they would not. They refused to do it. So either they are about to have a very dark karmic child and they are about to get pregnant or they are already pregnant and whoever the fuck that baby is, no, absolutely not. Do not involve yourself with that baby, that karmic, or that karmic masculine because he is not a divine masculine anymore. He is not. And there is no telling how many years he will be stuck with that entity attachment onto him. And if you get involved with him, I don't care, okay? Because most likely, right, whatever darkness he's involved with, once it gets a hold of him and it's got him, which it does, okay, he's going to try to come back to you and try to get you involved in it. Do not, I repeat, do fucking not, never, ever, ever, ever block that number, block that person. If you see them, you walk the other direction. You leave wherever you are and get the fuck away from them. Do you hear me? Holy fuck. You guys, I, you guys will know this, okay? Because I don't even think you would be able to look at that divine masculine without seeing some kind of darkness on them, okay? You will know. Uh, it makes me want to throw up. Um, I gotta go, you guys. Please take this warning and take it fucking seriously. Um, I, there's, there's not very often that I get as serious as I am right now. Um, I have to go, okay? I love you guys so much. Please, please, please. Your angels are trying to protect you from this. Do not get involved with this person, whoever they are, whoever they are, okay? Walk away from them, okay? The divine will send you somebody who is worth, who is worthy of you being with, but that person, stop. Whatever their issue is, whatever has happened to them is on them now. They have to be the one to save themselves out of that situation, but they are fucking nose deep, just up to their eyeballs in that darkness. You, the and you have to let the divine teach them their lesson. They have to learn this karmic lesson, okay? If this hasn't happened, it is going to happen and you cannot save them. Please listen to me. I'm not saying this because I'm trying to throw you off your path or anything like that. It is because that divine masculine, that masculine energy has made their choice. They have made their choice. And there's things that they have done that you don't even know about. You do not even know some of the things that that divine masculine has done. And if the divine is letting all of this happen to this divine masculine, it is because it is their karma from things that they have done that you don't even know about. Leave it the fuck alone. Walk away from it. Period. Point blank. That's it. Point blank. End of story. I'm not talking. No. Um... I love you guys so much. Please protect yourself. Um, if you're new here, I'm so sorry that you came here on such a heavy message. But obviously, if you were drawn here, you needed to hear this message. Please do not take my harshness as coldness. Please do not understand that I am never in the, in the circumstance that, oh, just abandon somebody. But, but in this situation, you need to walk away because your safety, your physical safety and your spiritual safety is in danger. It is in danger. Okay? Please walk away from this situation. You are being protected from this situation right now, but you will receive a choice, okay, and, and choose to walk away, all right? If you're a returning subscriber, I am praying for you, okay? I'm praying for you, lovely. Please 
Get the help that you need to get the fuck away from this person. Okay, protect yourself. Smudge your house. Smudge yourself. Smudge your body. Get an en energy cleansing, especially if you had any kind of ties to this person, especially if you had uh, sex with this person or any kind of in spiritual interaction. If you see this person in your dreams, block them the fuck out of your dreams. Walk the fuck away because this person is not the person that you knew anymore. Okay, they are not the person that you thought they were and they are not the person that you knew anymore. I love you guys so much and I'm praying for you. I will see you around next time. Okay. Bye.